Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So today we are going to talk about three very, very important topics. And we are first going to talk about Arthur Mello. So we do have further details about Arthur Mello and about him staying at the club. And so we are going to start with Rack 1 saying that Arthur definitely closes the door to leave Barcelona. The Brazilian told the sports management yesterday that he does not plan to leave. He has also told Juventus he is not moving either. And then we have another reporter claiming that he has communicated to Barcelona and Juventus sports director Fabio Patriasi and then we have another credible reporter named Fernando Polo and he said Arthur formerly contacted Barcelona and Juventus to let them know that he has no intentions of leaving Barcelona and just to go into further detail about this it has been reported by Mundo Deportivo that the pair met with Ramon Plains and Eric Avidal on Monday after Melo's father spoke with Paratici a day prior to thank Juventus for their interest but assert that Arthur is is staying in Catalonia. So there you have it. I'm going to keep confirming this again and again every day. We have had every top tier credible sources and journalists confirming that Arthur will not leave FC Barcelona. And so now that we have every reporter and journalist confirming that Arthur is not going to leave, I really do think that Arthur is going to be looking at all of this, all of this drama, all of these negotiations and be like, I'm going to come back stronger when we do come back in this season. And this is going to give him more character when he does step on the field because when Arthur does step on the field again I really do believe that after all of this Arthur will make a big statement on the field he's going to say I may not be untouchable now but by next year at this time I will be in the same realm of the young Messi and Ter Stegen. he's going to be untouchable and honestly Arthur Melo is more than capable to really reach that realm of the young Messi and Mark Andre Ter Stegen. and with that being said this is going to be the last time we're going we are going to see Arthur Melo in heaven negotiations with any other club. Arthur Melo is a Barcelona player and he knows that. Now moving on to the next topic of the day and we are going to talk about Dembélé. So according to Fernando Polo from Mundo Deportivo, he said Dembélé can leave if a good offer arrives and the French winger wants to leave. Now going into further detail, they continue to say in the event that the club needs a lot of money and Dembélé wants to depart from Barcelona, he would get permission to leave the club. Barcelona will consider offers for Dembélé lying in the region of 50 million euros. So I'm going to split this into two parts. I'm going to talk about my opinion about this and then I'm going to talk about the sporting aspect of this. And before I get into that, multiple outlets have reported that Barcelona will be considering and taking offers from other clubs from Dembélé. So for many of you guys who are saying that there's no way Barcelona is going to let go of Dembélé this summer, this has been reported weeks ago and now we do have a reliable journalist claiming that Dembélé might be in negotiations this summer and Barcelona will be considering taking offers and so look this operation that could be built up in the summer this is going to be all up to Dembélé this is going to go the exact same way like Arthur Melo's because I really do think that Barcelona is going to put Dembélé in many operations or listen to a lot of negotiations and offers from other clubs but Dembélé will need to step up go to the public media and state no I do not want to leave I am a Barcelona player very similar to the Arthur Melo situation but here's the difference right the only only difference between Dembélé and Arthur is that if Dembélé speaks, he will not have the full backing of the club or the fans. Unlike Arthur Melo, Dembélé has been given multiple chances. He did sign with Barcelona back in 2017 and he has yet to establish himself in this team. Is it fully his fault that Dembélé has not been able to prove himself at Barcelona? No, because he has been getting injured. But then we also have to remember that that could be some discipline problems. And so right now we're almost heading into our fourth year and Dembélé's time Time is running up. The only thing that's really helping him and keeping him in this club is his age because he is only 22 or 23 years old. If this happened to a player who was like 27, 28 or 29, he would have left like about one year ago. And so now I want to move on to the sporting point of view of this. So if Dembele were to be let go this summer, this move can only make sense in one way. And that would be for Dembele to be sold and for Barcelona to bring in another winger like Neymar Jr. Because it would not make any sense for Barcelona to sell Dembélé and you lose a winger and then they go ahead and find themselves another striker. And look, I know that Dembélé has stated before like about a month or two months ago that Dembélé is more disciplined now. He wants to work hard and prove why he should be wearing the Barcelona shirt. But this is going to be a long, long summer. This summer hasn't even begun and we're already hearing reports about Barcelona considering listening to offers from other clubs. And let me tell you guys this one thing. Once we do enter that phase where Barcelona is going
going to be trying to get Neymar Jr. back to the club, then we are really going to start seeing reports about Dembele leaving and entering operations. And so let me know what you guys think. Do you believe that Dembele should stay one more season or leave the club in order to bring in the players that this club desires? Like Neymar Jr., Latero Martinez, maybe even Timo Warner, any other player that could be on the market this summer. Now I want to move on to Lautaro Martinez. So I'm going to be explaining this topic like if it's one huge story and I'm going to give you guys basically a, a story of like what has been going on over the past 12 hours and we are going to start from the beginning all the way until the end so this can all add up and then it's going to make sense for everyone who's watching. So according to Alfredo Peduya, he stated that Lautaro Martinez has indeed rejected a renewal from Inter Milan. There is a total agreement between Barcelona and Lautaro Martinez. The Italian side knows about this. Inter and Barcelona continue to negotiate, aiming to reach an agreement before July. So yes, it's true that Martinez has rejected a 5 million a year offer from Inter Milan, and that is nothing close to what Barcelona is willing to offer Lautaro Martinez in this summer, which is going to be 13 million euros a year with a 15% automatic increase every year. And now with Lautaro Martinez rejecting Inter Milan's offer, which is not a surprise, what is Inter Milan going to do next? Because now that Inter Milan are very well aware that Martinez is not going to be here and there's a 99% chance that Martinez could be leaving, it says here according to Di Marzio that Inter Milan has started contacts with Herda Berlin for Mateos Kunha. He is going to be a target of Inter for next summer. And if you guys don't know who Mateos is, he is a 21 year old Brazilian forward who is more than capable to play second striker. So he is really going to mirror what Lautaro Martinez has done for Inter Milan in this season. And now with all of these links and reports surrounding Barcelona and Inter Milan that, you know, Inter Milan are looking to sign a new forward, Martinez rejecting their contract offer. I believe that Inter Milan are preparing for an exit. And even though it seems like Barcelona and Inter Milan have not made progress in these negotiations, what's going around these two clubs, it's what's really progressing. And because of that, we are stepping closer and closer to completing this deal. But then two to three hours later we have Fabrizio Romano who's again the most reliable reporter journalist in the world Intersport director Auxilio spoke to Sky Sports and he said this Lautaro Martinez is not for sale Barcelona contacted us we have a good relationship but we told them will not sell Lautaro Martinez if they want him Barcelona must pay the full release clause of 111 million euros and this report is just in I just heard this about an hour to two hours ago and so look right off the bat why does Inter Milan want to make this so difficult for Barcelona and when I mean by difficult I mean like why does Inter Milan want to make Barcelona pay 111 million euros because I can't think of no youngster under the age of 25 years old who cost more than 111 million euros and look I'm not saying that Martinez is not a good player I'm trying to say that can Martinez make Barcelona better and more lethal and more dangerous yes he can can, but no club would want to spend 111 million euros in this summer especially since this pandemic has greatly affected every club in the world and look every player that's like good like Timo Werner, Sancho, Halan, every player out there their value has dropped because of this pandemic and when I say by drop I mean like I'm not saying like 10 to 20 million I'm talking about it could be dropping maybe 5 to 2 million but it has dropped as for Lautaro Martinez his release clause has not dropped at all and this is massive news for us because now the question is going to turn into Barcelona which is what is Barcelona going to do next now that Inter Milan is very firm and they said that they will not take anything less than 111 million euros in cash what is Barcelona going to do and I came up with like three different alternatives on what Barcelona should do and that is to either sell players gain cash and buy Lautaro Martinez the second option is to use whatever Barcelona have at the moment like li literally in their bank and pay the 111 million euros or just not pay the 111 million and move forward and look for another striker either a winger a right winger left winger whoever and I think that that's the lane Barcelona is going to go to and in, in, and in my opinion I think that Barcelona should move forward I don't want Barcelona to spend 111 million in cash for Lautaro Martinez again I'm not saying that Martinez is not a bad player I'm just saying that Martinez cannot be priced at 111 million euros especially during these times and I don't want Barcelona to make that poor financial decision 
decision. And again, I'm going to keep saying this. There is no reason for Barcelona to pay 111 million for one player. Can we sell Coutinho, Dembele, or maybe even Griezmann this summer and make that money and buy that Taro Martinez? Yes, but not for 111 million. That's not going to happen. There are many better alternatives to better spend our money. Look, I wouldn't even mind spending 111 million this summer if it were to get us two to three players. But for one player, it's not going to be worth it. And I want to ask you guys this question. Should Barcelona focus on bringing in a striker or a winger now? Because now with the 111 million price tag, I don't think that Barcelona is going to move forward. I think that it's going to fall through. So now the big question is, should Barcelona sign a striker or a winger? And we have multiple options. We have Sancho, Sane, Timo Warner, Gnabry, and Neymar Jr. Many of these players, these youngsters, prefer other teams. Barcelona is like their third, fourth choice. We know that Sancho right now prefers to go to Manchester United. We know that Sane wants to go to Bayern. We know that Timo Warner wants to go to Liverpool. And then we have Gnabry and Neymar Jr. And I really do suggest for Barcelona to really focus their attention on these five list of players. They should be knocking on the door and asking, okay, we are interested. This is how much we want to bid. Let us know if you want to move forward with us. And the reason why I'm bringing like a lot of energy right now is because I want Barcelona to move fast. I want Barcelona to get an answer of the Martinez operation within the next two to three weeks. Because if we don't move fast, our options are going to continue to decrease. Because eventually we might hear Sancho complete a transfer to Manchester United. We might hear Sane complete a transfer to Bayern Munich. So you know what I mean, right? But Barcelona must conclude the Martinez operation. Can Barcelona talk to Inter Milan again and say, hey, look, we have one player for you guys. Can you guys decrease the price to 70 million so we can only pay 70 million in cash, not 111 million. And one of the last few things that I do want to say about this is that I highly do think that Inter Milan are playing their game right now. And let me explain what I mean by this. So journalists like Fabrizio Romano, they go up to many lawyers, sporting directors, players, whoever they see, and they ask them questions. And so in this case, Fabrizio Romano might be talking to either the lawyer or the sporting director in Italy and ask them, okay, what's the current situation looking like for this operation? This is what Fabrizio Romano does. And what the lawyers or sporting directors like to do is say, yeah, we only want this X amount of money. And they do this in order to put pressure through the media and send a message to other clubs is a tactical move. And then the other clubs going to have to react and say, they're really serious about us paying 111 million. And this is why Fabrizio Romano knows so much is because the lawyers and whoever the sporting directors, they like to say this in order to send a message because they know that Fabrizio Romano does have a lot of leverage in the media. And so this could be a very slick tactical move from Inter Milan and Inter Milan are playing their cards. This is what I believe they are playing their cards. And the big question I have for Barcelona is this, is Barcelona going to fall through for Inter Milan's tactical moves in this business? Will Barcelona give in and say, you know what, if they're being serious about the 111 million, we also need Lataro Martinez, let's pay the 111 million euros. And that is a question that we're probably going to have to find out in two to three weeks. We don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know how Barcelona is going to react after the sporting director clearly stating that they are only willing to take 111 million in cash. So that is it for today's Barcelona daily news. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, subscribe to the channel. This is what we do. We talk about the most recent news in FC Barcelona. So if you are an FC Barcelona fan, subscribe to the channel, like, comment. I'm happy that you are here and I will see you guys in the next video.